So now, hi. It's actually kind of cold. So, <laughs> so I don't know what you got. I actually got. I did pretty well. Yeah. I did pretty well. Um, I like to hear to that. To start off, two fitness boxing two for fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. It's an exciting day today. We're doing a trade. We've got a couple um, things to pick up from Best Buy. And Brother Dave is actually just getting back. He called me, was pretty excited. Um, said he got some stuff. So he got some stuff from one of the Myers. I went to the one from our hometown and there's two. He went to the other one. And so I suspected that there would be some good clearance games. So now, hi. <laughs> it's actually kind of cold. So, <laughs> so I, I don't know what you got. I actually got, I did pretty well. Yeah? I did pretty well. Um, I like to hear to that. To start off, I got two fitness Ooh. boxing for two, two of the, oh sorry, two fitness boxing two for $14.99. <laughs> $14.99. dollars That is incredible. Then I got, if I can, I got three. EA Sports FIFA 21 for $14.99. That's Legacy Edition. Legacy Edition, yep. I only got the regular. How much did you say it was? $14.99. $14.99 for FIFA 21. Crazy. It just came out, right? Yes. Yeah, that's insane. And then, I'm, I'm going to see if one of the best one for last. But then I got FIFA 21. I think this one was actually like 26 Okay. $26.99, something I, like I that. I got this one as well in my Meyer. Okay. This one, either $23.99 or $29.99. Okay. I think it might be $23.99. Okay, that's probably right. That is around there. Incredible. And then this is the big one. I got. Oh. Look at all those. Yes. <laughs> all all right. these were $26.99, $23.99. One of those two. But. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So, <laughs> so yeah, That's there's insane. four of, of the of the sword and four of the shield of the expansion pass. So yeah, this is the one the that's here. originally like ninety dollars. So yes, holy crap, that they, is the person they were they were uh, really thankful that I helped this other person out. Like the, this like random a customer, this random customer. Yeah, okay. Random customer came up to me. It was just like, hey, I need help with my Roku, and I was just like, all right, well, let me, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll see what I can. Like she, she just. She was just asking the the store. Oh, what do you call them? The employee. Employee. Yep. She was asking her like how to help, like how to put a Roku together, and I was just like, oh, I'll give you everything that I can. But I, That's I, mean, awesome. I don't even have a Roku, so it's it was kind of rough to figure out what was wrong. But then so the employee <laughs> was was uh, super thankful that I was helping her, and was just like take everything. <laughs> That's awesome. A little, so, a little kindness paid yeah. off. <laughs> so that is insane. That's one of the best. Meyer stops in a long while. So for those that don't know, Meyer is doing some pretty irrational discontinuations of games. And the theme that I'm gathering is the super expensive, the deluxe editions, the champions editions, the legacy editions seem to be the ones that for some reason they're clearing. And at my Meyer, the regular versions like Sword and Shield are still 60 bucks. Is that the same for you? Or oh, I thought nine. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. Like without the expansion pass. Without the expansion, they're six. So still you can 60. literally get the ninety dollars version for less. And I'm I'm guessing that their system just kind of flags it and says this isn't selling a lot, which makes sense because it's ninety dollars normally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy. So that's insane. But now we got to roll out to trading this, and it's actually a person that I've traded with once before, and he is from. Fort Wayne area, which is an hour and a half away, but he's coming all the way here this time. And I think I traded him a Switch Lite before, and I'm getting a Switch Lite used back in this trade. It very well may be the one that I traded him before. I'm not sure, but he's getting a regular Switch this time. So <laughs> kind of wild, but we're going to go do that. So let's roll. Let's do it. Let's go do it. Here we go.
Now this isn't the switch light I traded you the first time, is it? No, it's okay. I couldn't not. remember which one. <laughs> I've been through like three. <laughs> that <laughs> really? Oh, that's in pretty decent shape. Nice. Yeah, I actually wanted to play this game, so. Oh, nice. That's yeah, cool. I never used the code, so. Okay. Hit right on. I have this thing where I just wait until I'm finished with the game to use those. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> that worked out in this situation. <laughs> Alright, that's the stadium. Sweet. Where did I put the switch? Is that right here. I got it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sweet, thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. Shake your hand. But... Yeah. <laughs> thanks for making the trip. It's actually nice. A little road trip. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Alright, see you, dude. Alright, so. Pretty solid trade. We'll show everything when we get home because it's like. Freezing. I'm my hands shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they can tell. <laughs> Alright, brother Dave, so what just happened? So I pre-ordered these actually. I got two of them. Thank you for the hookup. <laughs> look at that! And uh yeah, wow, they these look incredible. I I was not expecting them to go yeah this big it's not the the game is a digital download, so it's just a bunch of I don't even know what comes in it, but yeah, does it, say, really does it cool. show it on the back at all? No, not really. It might list it, but it doesn't yeah, show it doesn't a picture. Show it, yeah, but but it, it's actually been out cool. for a minute, and, yeah. and this is the last day that your pickup at Best Buy was available, <laughs> and thankfully you remembered. I completely forgot that I had I had pre-ordered it, so very thankful that we got that. Well done. And then I got a few things as well. So limited run games. I just was like, yeah, I'll grab some stuff for the collection. So we got. Blaster Master Zero Two and Zero, Transistor, Panzer Dragoon, that was my favorite of the bunch, and then a Christmas present for Liss, my wife, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, we played a lot of the first one together, so that'll be a fun little gift, and that was a nice stop, so we did the, Brother Dave got the Meyer games, we did the trade, and got some Switch games, so pretty good day. All right guys, so you just saw the trade that we made. We're gonna quickly go over everything that was in the trade. So I traded a regular switch, got back the switch light with various accessories and such. And then another staple of the deal was the purple 2DS XL. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. A blue Game Boy SP, a little bit of scratching on the outside, but really nice on the inside and it's kind of crazy this is a guy that I, I think I believe I mentioned it. I've already made a trade with him except the last time I was an hour and a half away from home in his neck of the woods this time he came to my neck of the woods so pretty wild to make that happen I actually traded him a switch light for some GameCube stuff last time but then also thrown in was a Google Stadia that's complete in box and I opened the switch light and everything in there is like like new condition. And then we have a stack of GBA games um, and the charger. Most of them have ma manuals with them. Not Nothing too notable except for like Sonic is decent. Uh, but otherwise it's just mostly bolt games, but about 10 or 15 of them. So that was the trade for the switch. And now the cool thing is, I'm making a viewer trade. So Sean messaged, and his son, Jackson, with an X, shout out to Jackson, wanted to uh, make a trade with me. And he wants to get his brothers some switches. Um, and they're kind of going to be a late Christmas gift at this point, but he's going to get a this very switch light, and then a regular switch. And... He sent me a few boxes of systems and games and whatnot. So we're gonna unpack those. Brother Dave already got them unpacked, tested, made sure everything works well. But I pretty much haven't seen anything because that's been a Brother Dave task this morning. So let's hop right into it. So again, this is for a switch light and a regular switch. So we got GameCube memory card, some N64 memory cards. I'm gonna go quickly for you guys. Platinum controller, and then 
believe there were just like various stacks of games for various systems, like NCAA Football 12. There's a Dark Days DVD, a Transformers VHS. <laughs> I don't even remember if those were, if you took pictures of those initially. Might have just threw those in. Donkey Kong Country Returns. And this was only di disc only. We just happened to have the Donkey Kong oh, really? case. Oh, really? Oh, sweet. So another benefit of keeping a bunch of cases on hand. It was disc only. It is now complete. And then the Ringling Bros. Barnum and Bailey game, which is somewhat sealed. So that's cool. And then we've got some PS2 games. Gallop Racer. Those are, be on the lookout. They're like decent if you can find them for pretty cheap. And then GameCube games are always nice to get, even if they're the lower end ones. Jackson, nice work on the packaging. We did a good job. Okay. So we got Smashing Drive disc only, and then Need for Speed Underground, Tony Hawk's 4, Outlaw Golf, Tony Hawk 3, World Tour, Aggressive Inline, and Soul Calibur 2 with the manual. That'd be cool if we had a case of that. Did you check that one? I did not. Okay, maybe we do. We got the manual and the disc, so all we need is the case to complete it. Okay, and then there's some PS1 games. Jet Moto 2, NBA Live 98, Madden, and NHL Face-Off, so nothing too great there. Uh, the cool thing on a lot of this stuff is Amazon FBA enables me to be able to get a little more than like eBay on most games and especially systems. So I kind of wanted to hook Jackson up a little bit on the trade since he's getting gifts for his brothers, um, but we'll still do well selling everything on Amazon. So some Sega games, Royal Rumble, Sonic, and Tecmo Super Bowl. But the systems are really clean. They all work well. So we got a GameCube, a GBA, a PS1. Looks like there's three SNES controllers. And then a good SNES down there. And we got Cruise in USA for the N64. And all the cords. And that's it from box number one. But there is box number two. And if you guys ever want to do a trade with me, I've done, I don't even know, like probably like 10 viewer trades at this point. And th those have happened by them messaging me on Facebook and just sending pictures of what they had. Let me know what they want. I'm actually working one more at the moment that might go through. So message me on Facebook if you're interested. Good clean PS2. The controller, does this controller work? It does. Okay. Controller works, Sega Model 2. So we got we got our share of systems and those will sell pretty nice. And then another stack of it looks like PS3 games. And we got Head Coach 09, that is a Bolo sports game. So if you want to see the sports game list, I've made one sports games worth buying. And that is on Patreon. So go ahead and support on Patreon if you want to check out that list. But then we've got another stack, Ninja Gaiden, there's some Need for Speeds, GTAs. So Need for Speeds are usually pretty decent games to get. And then we got a pop figure. At this point, I was just trying to make the trade a little bit more worthwhile, trying to make it happen. Cubone, Jackson had some randomness that he was willing to throw in. Red Queen. And then he wanted to throw in some stuff for my babies. So Jack and Grace are getting some, some little bonuses, some little gifts. So Jackson, I really appreciate that. They're getting some, some good old baby toys. I feel like they will actually really like these sketch pads. They're getting into drawing and stuff. They're like 15, almost 15 months old now. So nicely done on that, Jackson. And then there's a few more games. So Beetle Adventure Racing, WrestleMania 2000. We've got a e-reader for Game Boy. And cords and memory card. So that's it. That's a viewer trade. Well, regular trade followed by a viewer trade. And it's pretty cool to turn something I got from a trade into another trade, which is what we're doing with that Switch Lite. But yeah, that's it for this one. And stay tuned for the next one. Hi. So... I am opening a Prism 2020 
bonus pack. Football, um, baby. I'm really excited. I know fo football better than all the other sports, but I still am not that versed. So Chase is going to have to help me out to oh, know for sure. if I have anything good here. But we're going to open this up. I haven't opened a pack in a long time, so this is exciting. Yeah, so just quick quick notes. Look for the quarterback rookies, which there are four that you would be very happy to get right now. Which one should I open first? Let's go go with that first, the red, right. white, and blue. So it comes with three red, white, and blues. I got lucky to find these at Target. Hooked Brother Dave up with a pack to open for himself. And hopefully he gets something epic. I know the first person. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Always, always Mahomes is good. Brady's pretty good. Nikhil Harris. Okay. The middle one is usually the most interesting, maybe. Aaron Jones. Okay. So not a rookie. And Chase Claypool. Chase Claypool. That is a rookie. Red, white, and blue. Mm. Sleeve that, baby. Sleeve it. You got a winner right there, yes. my friend. That's like the best wide receiver rookie. The only reason I know much. of him is because he's on my fantasy team. And he's doing well for you, is he not? Doing, he's doing pretty good. That's a great, great <laughs> pull right there. Look at that. I'm, I'm excited about that one. That probably pays for the pack and maybe a little more. That's so nice. that is very exciting. Okay, so the camera cut off right after that red, white, and blue pack, but pretty darn exciting that this Chase Claypool, looking it up, sold listings around the 40 to $50 mark. What, what? So Brother Dave, making it happen. <laughs> and we haven't even got to the main pack, so let's keep it going. Let's pull can some- we, Can uh, we continue? Is yeah. it possible? Let's get some Justin Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's incredible. This is your first pack in like years, is years. it not? So, no, yeah. Yeah? The only time I ever opened up packs was like Christmas, so they're always just random like dollar or dollar general packs. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, this, right. this is a little bit more high stakes here. Rogers. Aaron Rodgers. Christian Kirk. And the, ooh, Justin, Justin Jefferson. Jefferson, rookie wow. green. It's an emergent. But that is a great wow. pull again. Lamar Jackson. Nice little insert. And then rookie of... J. Juan Jennings. Jennings. Okay, so sleeve up that Justin Jefferson because he's having a phenomenal season as well. And it's a green. It's always better to get the base versions of the rookie cards, but that's an emergent green. So once you get that sleeved, I'll pass the camera to you and we'll check that one out as well on the eBay. So a solid 14, 20, 28. Dollar card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take All it. All right. Thank you guys for watching Chase Out of the Right Price. I truly appreciate it. It's a lot of fun making these videos, and I love that you guys come along for the ride. Hopefully, you learned something and got some value out of it. If you did, if you could take a second and go ahead and hit that like button right below, that really helps the channel. It helps in YouTube metrics and helps people like you to see these videos. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. Go ahead and do that. Then you can join us and get notified every time a video comes out. And we'd love to have you along for the ride. So we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.